All right. So let's look at this question. This question says the mass of an object in air is 50 gram and it appears to have a mass of 35 gram when immersed in water. Find the relative density of the substance and then the density of the substance. So how do you get this? So solution to this question. Solution to this question there. All right, so tax one. Let me call the mass in air. Let me call it M air. Or let me call it Me, that's mass in air, and that's equal to 50 gram. If this is the mass in air, let's get the weight in air. I'll call it Wa. The weight in air, Wa, is equal to, um, of course, my formula will be weight is equal to mass times gravity. That become mass in air times gravity. And that's equal to mass in air is 50 times gravity is 9.8, right? In your in your um, question, pip, in, your, in your question paper, you have to take gravity as nine point eight, right? So I'm using this as nine point eight, and that gives me about four ninety. Weight is measured in newton, so four ninety newton. So this is my answer. Also, let me now write the mass in water. Let me call this M W. The mass in water in the question here is given as um 35 that's this one here 35 grams so i would come here and write mass in water w m w is equal to 35 grams i think that's the value okay so let's get the weight in water i'll call this w w that's weight in water is equal to of course the mass in water times gravity since weight is equal to mass times gravity and that gives you 35 times 9.8. So if I do 35 times 9.8, my result gives me 343. So 343 Newton. Alright, so I have this value. To get relative density, let me call that RD. So relative density RD is equal to The weight in air divided by the ratio of weight in air to weight in water, or the, the difference, the ratio of weight in air to the difference between the weight in air and weight in water. And that will be equal to the weight in air is about 490, 490 Newton divided by. So divided by weight in air is 490. So divided by 490, of course, in Newton minus 343 in Newton. Okay, so let's get this done. So what do we have here? This is equal to 490 in Newton all over all over 490 minus 343 that's about 147 so 147 newton all right so solving for that that's equal to 490 minus 147 or divided please 490 divided by 147 and that is about 3.33 so i have 3.33 um, as my relative density. Don't forget, relative density has no SI in it because Newton here cancels Newton, so there's no SI in it. Hence, my relative density is equal to 3.33. So that's the I part. II says we should find density of the substance. So let's get II. II says we should find density of substance, uh, density of substance now what we know is this we know that relative density is equal to let me call it rho s okay so this man let's call it rho s so relative density is equal to relative density is equal to density all over 1000 that means to get my density of substance divide here by one 
and what do I have here? I'll have that this times 1, that means relative density of the density of the substance times 1 is equal to this times this, that's 1000 times the relative density. In other words, we can say that the density of the substance is equal to 1000 times this value here was 3.33 from our calculation, as you can see here, this value here. All right, so we now have 1000 multiplied by 3.33, and that, that's about and that's about 3330, all right? So this is in kilogram per meter cube. That's the SI units. So this is how you solve this question. Please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and leave a comment so that we can create more contests like this. Also share to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'd we'll leave a link to um, to a video tutorial on um, density and relative density in the description of this video all right so see you in the next class